Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. Today we are going to discuss about the cluster deformer in Autodex Maya. Now, what is a cluster deformer? Cluster deformer actually creates a set of different component modes which are actually points like a vertex in polygon or control vertex in a curve and the lattice points. Now let's see how we can do that. I've created a polygon sphere and right click and go to vertex select few vertex of our of this uh, particular object go to create deformers cluster leave the options to the basic settings and say create immediately you can see there's a C uh, come up with a, a absolutely transformation controls now if I select this C this is a cluster node which is actually created for those selected vertex. Remember, this is very important that cluster is actually assigned on the selected vertex only, not in the entire object. So if you select two vertex, it will only get give you the control over that particular two objects. Sorry, the those particular two uh, vertex. So now if I pull this out, you can see my selected vertex are coming out. Switch on the wireframe so <clears throat> I saw a wireframe with shaded mode from your panel, and here you can see that my selected vertex that on which I have assigned this cluster node is actually been affected, not the other one. Now, how can we you know change the influences of these clusters? This is a very important one. Now, if I select this my object, go to edit deformers. And select the cluster, sorry, paint cluster weights tool. This is the absolutely same uh, brush settings that actually you know, uh, gives you the control over the uh, joint paints, like uh, the paint on the skinning. So I want to reduce some of the values. Here you can see it's absolutely the same way I can uh, paint my joint weights I'm just smoothing it out but the interesting thing is I am only can paint on the selected vertex on which I have assigned the cluster I cannot put any kind of values on which my cluster was not assigned so in which in this way you can understand that the selection before you are creating this uh, cluster is very important so this is the polygonal objects and next we'll show you how we can create on a curve go to the curve and I just uh, create a very very simple structure of curves Okay, you already know that uh, uh, in Maya, curves are consisting of uh, two different uh, important component objects. One is this control vertex and another one is the edit point. Now, if you go to edit point and if you select the any, any edit points and if you go to create deformer and move to cluster, you'll have your control over there. But when you move it, you can see this cluster is not have any kind of effect on this edit point part if I create any kind of a cluster controller over uh, my curve I have to go to a different component mode that is control vertex go to the control vertex select the uh, select the CV you want to create of controls and Go to create deformer and hit cluster. And now, if you move your cluster node, you can see <coughs> your cluster is actually working. This is a very effective uh, and useful thing for us while treating the uh, spline IK system. Let's see how we can use it, this on the spline IK. Go to skeleton and I create a bunch of uh, joints 
very simple one okay now go to skeleton menu and here is your options I guess spline handle tool. just reset that tool and it will create a auto auto carve and and the put they will also put the carve onto the root and also parenting that curve so I'm just uh, leaving this as it in the reset mode just hit select the base and the tip fine now you can see if you go to the outliner you can see there has been a curve created uh, which is actually you know the controlling the entire joint system now as we know that the IK spline handle tool actually controls through by this uh, curve and if you go to the control vertex of this curve oops uh, this is very important that you switch on the joint because joint is your uh, selection uh, priority so you're never gonna select this component options of the curve so now as I switch off the joint from the selection I can select the curve and go to the control vertex and select my uh, vertex sorry control vertex and now you can see we can easily create or select these controllers which will actually control the spline IK system now right now if I, I really want to create any controllers for this rig I need to create a circle fine then I move it over here now if you hit control vertex and shift select your object and hit P you see not enough objects or values come up as an error now why this is happening because I cannot parent any object mode of an, an object with a component mode now that is the reason I have to use cluster for this now select the object sorry the component mode go to control vertex select the control vertex create deformers and say cluster now by selecting this cluster and shift select the object and hit P now you can got your controllers of this spline IK very easily but without that cluster it's not impo it's not possible to create you to uh, you know you can can anyway you can create the uh, controllers for these uh, for this rig so this is the usefulness of your cluster deformer uh, hope you enjoy this and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay update and also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. So thank you very much.